What's up guys, Zach man, Microprofits FX coming back at you with another video. It's been a few months, but uh, I've been uh I took a step back, did a lot of research, a lot of more reading, um just a lot more studying basically, uh to kind of get things right. Because uh, obviously the whole concept of what I was doing wasn't working. So I kind of said I even wrote an ebook about it. Um which I'll leave a link here, but we just kinda I just had to sit back and really take things in and kind of study some more and finally figure something out. So, um, yeah, just five basic, simple trading strategies. This is pretty much what I've been using here. I know, um, the whole point of this was to start off and see if we can make a small trading account into a big account. Um, and I'm talking micro like 10, $20. So, um, I didn't think it was possible. I mean, I thought it was when I first started this, but then obviously I started doing it. I, you know, I started a demo account, which was awesome. Things were working out. Then we switched to a live account and then shit just went flat. Um, so basically, like I said, I just kind of went back and restudied and just went back to simplicity, not complicated stuff. So, which we'll get into here, but I just want to talk about over the last month here, what that would happen. So, um, February 4th, I deposited $23 and 50 cents into a, a live trading account. And yeah, I just kind of grew from there. Like I said, I didn't, it, it is possible. So if you look here, um, we can, like I said, we started on uh, February 4th of 2020 and $23.50 was deposited into the account. And we started off with a small lot size of just one. And yeah, just kind of kept on going from there. So we had some losers, winners, you know, we had a little bit of each. So obviously there's no such thing as 100% winning trades in this game you got to accept the losers which you'll see as we go um but if you look at probably mid february ish you can kind of see how the lots start to change you go a little bit higher um, as the profits continue to come in and as we finish out the month here you can kind of see it goes higher and higher and higher and obviously the profits are higher with higher losses as well i know the pound and the yen has been kicking my ass been kind of my kryptonite especially the yen just by itself i mean had a pretty big loss there. Had another loss with the Swiss there, um, but I've also had some profits. So you know, um, along the way with yen. So um, that's just the way it goes. It's kind of the market, and a lot of it has to do with me. I'm trying to tinker with us stop losses, and I don't like to use them um, so tight. Anyways, I mean, I just like to kind of let the trades run in the direction that I think it's going to go, um, which a lot of them have. And obviously these ones haven't, so I just kind of I gotta adjust a little bit, maybe keep it about 30 pibs away. Maybe we'll kind of work on that. Um, that's my plan for March is to kind of work on the stop loss, um, or just look for better entries maybe too. Um, but for the most part, everything's been pretty good. So we can kind of see the graph here where I started, um, and as you can see, it's kind of an uphill, and then obviously we have the big decline. But that was a lot of that yen, uh, these $36 loss, $38 loss. So that was pretty pretty huge. Um, which kind of stinks because obviously I'd be higher up, but you know, it's just the way it goes. So I'm not going to sit here and pull over. We're just going to kind of move on. But uh, if we look down here, the total trades that I took were 82 trades for the month. Uh, out of all those trades, 51 of them were uh, winners and 31 were losers. So 30%, well, 38, we can round it off to is a loss and about 62% is Profit. So as long as they're profiting, I don't really care. I mean, I like to see that number higher, obviously in the 80s, 90s, but if I'm profitable, it really doesn't matter to me. So, uh, but that will be a goal of mine just to kind of, you know, see what we can do there uh, to kind of bump that up. So that is kind of where we've been at. And, you know, the funny thing about all this trading is anybody can do this, it's, you know, which I'll kind of show you my strategy here a little bit. You can follow me on Telegram and on YouTube, obviously. And then on Instagram, I have accounts there um, where I just do free analysis and you can pretty much just kind of do a couple picks, throw it out there, buy or sell. Uh, whichever one I try to do three or five throw it all there at you guys just so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing um, and obviously I throw you know I do screenshots of all the trades um, that I've closed or been in throughout the day or through the week or whatever the case may be so I'll leave a description for that so if you guys want to follow me you can um, otherwise let's take a look at what's going on and what I've been using here so this, uh, if you look back at my previous videos you'll see obviously the ups and downs that I had as a trader um, so it's all there. It's all I'm an open book. So you'll see kind of my uh, the actual other strategy that I use, which I don't have. it. I'm using a different computer, so I didn't actually I don't have it on this one. 
Um, but if we take a look here, this is this an example. Like this is kind of what most traders use. Like look at all these indicators. Like we'll zoom in here. Um, all right. So as soon as you know this reaches the green or whatever, we're gonna go ahead and buy and we're gonna follow it up. Which yeah, sure it might work, but this is a lot of a lot of cluster, big clusterfuck basically, and we, I don't like that. Um, you know, so obviously you go, hey, well, this is green, that's green, that's green, this arrow's green, we gotta buy, right? So we go ahead and buy, but I've tried that, I've been there, and it doesn't always work that way, unfortunately. Because like I said, green there, green there, green there, green there, so it looks like a buy, right? Nope, mm, done, flat, all done. So I don't like that trading way. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out of that. We're gonna go over to basically simple and I don't trade exotic pairs I just cut the major and minor ones is kind of what I've been trading so as you can see I do have some indicators but most of all it's pretty simple and easy and actually I don't even need uh, the bands to be honest with you I don't really use them so we can just get rid of that um, I don't like them anyways but anyway so and actually I'll, the most the best thing that I've been using is actually the, I've been following more of the trend lines so I do I watch the OPV a little bit I watch the divergence but for the RSI and MACD divergence um, just a little bit because if I catch it like if there's a good trend right here and we have some divergence like right down there right there that means it's possibly a good reversal so the lot size might change to maybe a higher lot so I do watch these um, but mainly throughout the day I use just a lot of the trend lines just to kind of see where everything's at so let's kind of do a little outlook over the week here and i use the high tie frames obviously just to kind of see where we're at so um we'll kind of look here um so we have the trend line oops uh that killed it hang on all right so i need to update that but uh so we zoom out we can see obviously from the the peak no, can't zoom out that much but this is the hour chart i use the four hour and the daily mostly but um obviously we're kind of pinpointing if it breaks through this trend line and then goes back up and tests and kind of wicks back up in here then obviously and it goes back down then i'm gonna look for a sell so we'll kind of watch on the euro here to see what that does um you know obviously we have the trend, major trend line here you know it might break above that uh, like i said it'll probably go down here if it wicks down here then we're looking for a buy, but I'll be watching mainly the four hour charge because here's the deal, guys. Uh, any, like I said, anybody can do this. I do this, and I only look at this at four o'clock in the morning and eight o'clock at night because I don't have time otherwise. I've been I'm busy doing other shit with my life. Um, I have another business that I'm in, starting up here, um, my personal life. So I am I go to work, I get up at four thirty, look at the charts, hit the road by five a.m. I'm back home by about eight, nine thirty p.m. At night so I look I quickly look at the charts kind of wind down for the night and just kind of look at things see what I'm gonna be looking at in the morning when I get up or that night possibly and then I'm back to work I and my carry my phone on me the other time because I don't have time to be looking at my computers and stuff like that so I only look I'm only spending about a half hour per day on these charts 15 minutes in the morning 15 minutes at night that's it that's all I'm doing so it's pretty simple you don't have to like I said there's no excuse for anybody anybody can do this so all right so anyways uh, we're gonna be looking at that, so we're gonna kind of keep an eye on the euro. Uh, I'll just kind of quickly go over these top ones here, and then that'll be the end of the video. So, right, and we'll see if I do a trade or not today. I'm not sure yet. But. So we're gonna kind of watch this one as well. So the USD Swiss here, obviously, if it touches back down here and kind of wicks back up, we can kind of look for a buying opportunity. Although it does look like it is gonna be a lower low, so we might go up. For a little uh, higher low and then bounce back down for a lower low so we're going to kind of keep an eye on that as well uh just kind of i do watch out for the, the lower lows and the higher highs and all that stuff too so you got to kind of keep that in the factor it's always important to zoom out to kind of get a good look at the chart to see where it's at so um, obviously you have a high here higher low there and then uh a lower low eh, yeah but a lower lower there so and then you got the little small ones too that you got to watch as well so that's kind of a good way so we'll kind of see you might look for a little bit of maybe a buy opportunity there and then uh that's uh, like just for a quick one and then probably sell again so we'll kind of keep an eye on that one and as well as the british pound that's kind of who, i'm not sure who knows on that one that one's going to kind of foggy um, but we do have a lower low so we could probably see it retrace up a little bit and then probably bounce back down so we'll look for it to wick out 
um, on some of these trend lines just to kind of see what it does. USDJP, um, again, is kind of wicking down here a little bit. So we'll see it did create a lower low. Um, we could probably see it bounce back up up in this area for a higher low and then go down for a lower low. So we got to keep an eye. We'll keep an eye on that one as well. Um, that's basically what I do. It's not I don't simply or complicated anymore with a bunch of nonsense indicators. And these ones right here, these blue lines and the red lines, they're basically sub major support and resistance uh, lines as well. So most of it, like I said, it's trend lines and support and resistance. And then I use divergence um, just to kind of get an idea of when a big reversal if everything's lining up at the same time on a trend line that means there's a big move coming um, i use the opv just for like trend indication so uh it does help out quite a bit i have some uh moving averages that i put out as well to kind of see when it crosses obviously there's a change in direction so we're obviously going up um you know if it goes lower obviously it's kind of a sell so i do use that as well as a little indicator so it's just things to confirm to get better entry basically but most of it's all trend line and support and resistance really and high and lows and lower lows so it is a pretty pretty simple concept there's no need to complicate it and that's just kind of what i've been doing so we're going to continue on so like i said follow me on telegram instagram obviously here uh watch the videos and yeah uh happy trading guys and like i said uh it's pretty simple. It's micro profits. You know, you take a small account, grow it. So I'm continuing to do that. We'll see um, what March does. Other than that, guys, thanks.